think she'd learn how to do anything good from Harley. No. Certainly not learn how to cook or eat healthy. I think the movie shows that Harley gives really terrible life advice. Yeah. And love advice. That she'd definitely learn how to protect herself, that's for sure. Yes, I think from, from all of us in different ways. Exactly. We could definitely teach her some, some pretty mad self-defense skills. Yeah, but, yeah. But for better or worse, I'm not sure, you know. I think, yeah, yeah. That's probably the only good things we could impart yeah. on, on poor Cass. Some innocent people might end up dead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, Harley in the movie definitely does give Cass a bunch of... Um, mentoring tips, not a lot of bad ones. Not, by not the way, not the best ones. Um, I feel like I feel like with Harley, she would definitely say like, "Go get him, do it, do whatever you can." You know, be extreme, be loud. Um, and I feel like Huntress would kind of say the opposite, like stay quiet until until you become heard. That sort of mentality. And I feel like Black Canary um, would have so much soul and heart for Cass as she kind of does in the movie and kind of watches out for her. Um, and I feel like that would be more I tell you, stay legitimate, away from legitimate Do the opposite advice. of what Harley yeah. tells you to do. <laughs> I didn't know it was a word in English. I think that it's all, it's a very Harley word. Um, Christina Hodson also was, our screenwriter, was also not aware it was a real word, but apparently it is <laughs> if you look it up in the dictionary. Um, but I think it's it's a play on fabulous, but it's even more fabulous, you know? And I think it just fits Harley because Harley is that kind of original spirit where it's it takes almost a new word to describe her. Um, and I, and to the in, your, in terms of your other question, there were so many fantabulous moments on set. There really was. I mean, it was just a really fun set. And um, there are many times I looked around, and I was like, I cannot believe we're actually doing this. Um, because, you know, there's just 300 crew members and all these extras and, like, you know, Margot Robbie and Ewan McGregor and Mary Elizabeth Winstead and Rosie Perez. Is, so, I don't know. It's, it, there was a, many moments for me where I was just very, I felt very lucky to be there. I loved when we shot the scene where we're drinking like margaritas mm -hmm. and eating tacos at the end and we're like covered in blood, but like just like shooting the shit. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah, I love that too. I also, I've got a, I have a few really fun moments. I loved the sort of introduction to Huntress where I got to speak a little Mandarin and be a little oh, bit yeah, that was sort so of, good. I don't know, I'm very, I, I get to be very sort of confident in my, in my um, badassery mm. in that, in that mm -hmm. moment, which was very fun, very fantabulous. Mm. I loved the last scene in the movie. That was pretty fantabulous. That was fantabulous. It in like a real was. chill, yeah, cool, relaxed. fantabulous way. Yeah. Not fantabulous, but more like, oh, this is fantabulous. Yeah. I think <laughs> the... Um, all the Marilyn Monroe scenes are pretty. Oh, those are those, those are, are pretty epic. fantastic. Those are iconic. That is such a good question, and no That's one's a ever really asked that. Good question. Like seven Samurai for you or yeah. John Wick? Yeah, well, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Seven Samurai. What ones do you one. think for Harley? I'm trying to think now. What would her favorite movies mean be? Mean Streets or mm. uh, Moulin mm -hmm. Rouge, maybe. Mm. Uh. Oh, what one? Moulin Rouge. Oh, Moulin Rouge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it's it. your choice. I'm gonna think on this. I'm really yeah. gonna. I'm gonna give this one thought. Yeah. I'll think about it. Well, I guess you know. I think Huntress apparently likes Kill Bill. So that's. I was about to say Kill Bill would be right up Kill there. Kill Bill's right Revenge up there. Story. Yeah. This is good. Definitely Atomic Blonde. I mean, that's mm -hmm. that's a good movie. Um, like Kill Bill, maybe. Oh, Kill Bill. That's a good yeah. one too. Yeah. Um, or like Return of the Dragon. Um, just uh. some, just some gangster <laughs> like Bond. Godfather. Yeah. L.A. Confidential, maybe. Maybe L.A. Uh, Confidential. I haven't seen that one, but sure. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Pulp Fiction. Sorry. Yeah, Pulp maybe. Fiction. Um, the Professional. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We named like ten. <laughs> yeah. Kill Bill for sure. Actually. Yeah. She would love Volume One and Two. Yeah. Yeah, she would have wanted to be in Kill Bill. Yeah, super intense. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, I think you're right. I think trying to keep it not too overt, um, and this shouldn't be me medicine by any means. Um, I think mostly it should just be a fun, you know, entertaining movie. Um, and then if we can make a difference some way in the way that we're showing how women really are, or how strong these also very flawed and you know different and diverse women can be, that's a huge thing. And and yeah, I think there's it's trying to tackle things in a more subtle, uh, more insidious way. And, and shining a light on some of that mm -hmm. yeah, without being overt. Yeah. Mm. I definitely want Oracle in, a, in the next one. Yeah. She's integral to the Birds of Prey. And poison Ivy. Poison Ivy, I'd die mm -hmm. for. Mm -hmm. I'd mm -hmm. like Catwoman to come into the mix just because, yeah. because I, I would like to do something mm -hmm. with Catwoman. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's a good question. Um, I think, I mean, you know, I think Catwoman and Poison Ivy would be very interesting as well. Um, and it would be great to see Barbara Gordon as well. I'd love to see Barbara Gordon, mm -hmm. Oracle, come in. You know, that to me would be really exciting. Right. And um, yeah, I mean, I feel like there's there's, there's such there's a so world. Many. There's a yeah. wealth of, of characters that could come in. Mm -hmm. um, Lady Shiva could come yeah. in. I could see her. I that's, could see Poison Ivy. Yeah. I could see Catwoman coming in. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there, uh, there's so many to to go. It's such a wealth on. of uh, there's such yeah. a wealth of characters yeah. in the DC universe yeah. and the, that and the great thing the great thing about the Birds of Prey there's always people coming in and out, mm -hmm. which gives the excuse to put many different DC characters um, in like. Lady Shiva and Poison Ivy and all those characters, mm -hmm. which would be super interesting.